As a web designer, I'm sure you can relate to this. In order to check responsiveness of your website, you find yourself constantly switching between devices like desktop, tablet, mobile, so that you can make sure that your website looks perfect on all the devices, even on those old devices that our grandpa use. Yeah, it has to look perfect on that as well. But there are so many devices available with different screen sizes, it seems almost impossible to design a website which looks perfect on all the screen sizes. Until now. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how DV5's new customizable breakpoints can help you create seamless experience across all devices, whether you are designing for a massive desktop display or smallest mobile screen. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel the makers of the DB Visual Builder. Now in DB5, breakpoints are integrated into your page settings, making them easy to locate and customize. You can access them directly within the Visual Builder, ensuring a streamlined workflow. Now here is how we can enable these custom breakpoints. So right now we are inside our page and let's go ahead and edit this with DB Builder. So we click on edit with DV Builder from here and this is going to open up our visual builder and here on the top we can see our three default breakpoints. We have our desktop, tablet and mobile breakpoint. So if we click on mobile, we can see our complete layout in mobile view or in tablet or this is how it's going to look for desktop. But now we can add more breakpoints here. All we need to do is click on these ellipses menu or the three dots. And here we can see all the available responsive breakpoints. And from here, we can now enable different breakpoints. So let's say we want to enable phone wide breakpoint. So we turn this on and we want tablet wide. So we can turn this on as well. And we can turn on the wide screen and ultra wide screen resolution. Along with that, if you want, you can also change the size of the screen from here. So if in case for tablet wide, you want to change from 1024 pixels to maybe 1080 pixel, you can do that from here. But the default value is going to cover most of the screen sizes. So we are going to leave it as it is. And then we just need to click on save. And it's going to ask us, these breakpoints in DV5 are enabled and applied at the website level. Once you enable the customized breakpoints, this will affect the entire website ensuring a consistent, responsive design across all pages. So we click on update from here and boom, now we have seven different breakpoints for our website. So if we click on this, this is how our design will look on a phone wide view, which again we can customize. And this is how it's going to look for tablet in a wide viewport. This is how it's going to look for a wide screen. And this is how it's going to look for an ultra wide monitor. Now using these breakpoints, let's say we want to check the responsiveness of our top heading. So first let's go to mobile. And this is how it's going to look for the vertical mobile phone view. And let's check for phone wide. This is how it's going to look for mobile wide, which we can customize. So once we click on this module, we can see our setting panel here on the right hand side. We go to design and we click on heading text. And from here, we can change the size of our font. Same we can do for tablet. This is how it's going to look. And for the tablet wide, we now need to customize this text. So here we are going to change the text size like this. And same for desktop and for widescreen. We can see how our website is going to look for different screen sizes. Now, one of DB5's most powerful aspect is how its customizable breakpoints integrate seamlessly with presets. This allows you to create a responsive design across your website with minimal effort. So let me show you how it works. So here we have a new page. We have different headings and paragraph text here. So let's say we click on this heading one and inside our design section, we can click on heading text. And now on the top, we can see this is using default preset. So when we click on this, we can create a new preset using current style or we can add a new preset. So let's click on add new preset. Let's give it a name, H1 preset. 
And now we can go to design. And here we can define how our H1 tags will look like. Let's say we want to change the heading font. We want to make it as bold. And maybe we want to change the color as blue. And this is how our heading H1 preset will look for desktop. We can now customize the same for mobile. So let's click on this. And let's say for mobile, we want to change instead of bold. We want to keep it as semi bold. And for mobile wide, we again want to change this to semi bold. But we are going to leave it as it is for rest of the devices. So if we come back here on mobile phone, it's going to look different. But for the desktop and widescreen, it's going to load the different style. And now with this, we can save our preset. So whenever we use our H1 preset, it's going to work perfectly fine on all devices. So this is how we can customize the responsiveness of different modules for different screen sizes and save them as preset so that we can use them anywhere on our website without worrying about their responsiveness. Now, if in case you are wondering that adding all these breakpoints is going to slow down my website, then the answer is no. Divi 5's new framework is optimized for performance, ensuring the additional breakpoints do not add unnecessary load on your site. Now, if you are wondering how many breakpoints you should use, then the number of breakpoints depend on your audience device uses. Users access websites on various screen sizes from small smartphones to ultra wide desktop screens. Traditionally, web designers have used three standard breakpoints that is, desktop, tablet, and mobile. But DB5 expands this capability, allowing up to seven custom breakpoints for greater flexibility. Now in DB5, the size of your design scales down proportionally when the breakpoint's width is larger than the width of your canvas. You can design for ultra wide monitors even on a small desktop or tablet. When you switch to a specific breakpoint, you can always remain in that breakpoint and get a realistic preview of your design at that particular size. So with custom breakpoints in DB5, you can now fine tune your website responsiveness to fit different screen sizes in a better way. Whether you're designing for ultra wide desktop or wide mobile screens, DB5 puts control in your hands. Once again, DB5 is currently available for local and staging environments, allowing users to safely test its features without affecting their live website. If you are starting from scratch, you can fully take advantage of its fast performance, modular framework, and future-proof technology without worrying about backward compatibility issue. But at this point, we still don't recommend converting your existing website completely to DB5. So this is your best opportunity to join DB community today. Check out the link in the video description below to get the best discounts on DB membership. Now, one of the best part of DB5 is that it will forever include it in your DB membership at no additional cost. If you upgrade to DB lifetime membership today, you will gain access and updates to DB5 for one-time fee and benefit from its evolving product for years to come. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress and DV updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.